After reading the most recent chapter of Boruto, I kept thinking to myself, what exactly was Boruto trying to say when he says, I feel like I can control Momoshiki's power now? What has changed that makes Boruto feel so confident about controlling Momoshiki? Perhaps it is the fact that Boruto has now become an Otsutsuki. To me, the answer is yes. But if this is the case and Boruto can now control and use Momoshiki's power, does it mean that he will awaken Momoshiki's Renegon? This would make perfect sense to me as Kawaki has Ishiki's karma which allows him to awaken his dojutsu. So does this mean that Boruto can now use Momoshiki's Renegon? The answer to this question is not straightforward and it is quite complicated because Boruto was not seen in the time skip with the Renegon at all. So now I'm back to square one and I'm still looking for answers to my question. So I go to school and talk to one of my friends who is a fellow fan and supporter of Boruto. And we discuss and talk about the possibility of Boruto getting the Renegon. He brings to me some solid points and I now feel like I have the perfect theory and I'm ready to make a video on the topic. But before I even share my theory, I have a bunch of my supporters telling me no, Boruto won't get the Renegon, it just doesn't make sense. So now I'm confused because they did end up bringing some solid points of why Boruto would just not get the Renegon, which means I have to scrap up this theory I have and come up with a new one. However, it's been days, hours has passed and I still have not come up with a perfect theory explaining the answer to this question. So after days worth of thinking, I decided to go on the best application in the world. This application has the least amount of toxic people and you can actually have a good conversation. This app is Twitter and I will definitely find my answers on Twitter, right? So right now we're on Twitter and I'm expecting to find some good theories about Boruto getting the Renegon. Here we have Ida's personal slave. That's a crazy name to me, but it is said that if you trace the Uchiha's clan history, the clan's abilities has its source in the Hyuga clan, Kakashi slash Naruto. In my own theory regarding Boruto's Jogan and Eye of God, the Jogan is the source of all the Jutsus. The Jagan is more powerful than the Tensugan, the Tensugan is more powerful than the Byakugan, and the Byakugan is more powerful than the Renegon and Sharingan. Personally, I would put Byakugan at the end of the list because it's basically useless. Nobody uses it really in these upcoming arcs. But I see what he is talking about. What I personally believe though is that the Otsutsukis all start off with the Byakugan. When they eat a chakra fruit, they get the Renegon. And when they eat another chakra fruit again, they get a different type of dojutsu. Some people will get a unique dojutsu, like Ishiki who got his own type of dojutsu, or some others will get a different type of Renegon like Kaguya's. So now we have uh, now we have another person. I can't really read his username, but let's call him Final Exam. One theory I have is if Boruto eats a quality chakra fruit, even a decent one, he should be able to power up and possibly awaken the Renegon as he already has the genetic data needed to eat and consume the chakra fruit. But I personally don't believe Boruto is that type of character. The person who I may consider to do something like this is Kawaki because Kawaki, as we have seen, would do anything to protect his family. So if he sees that he is not strong enough because of the upcoming threats, a possible Otsutsuki invasion, or just Code being way stronger than he is, I could definitely see Kawaki go to a different planet, plant a chakra fruit, and eat the chakra fruit to awaken a better dojutsu to fight versus Code. So here we have a different theory. I can't read Japanese, so I can't pronounce his username, but he starts out by saying, crazy Boruto theory. It's gonna be trash, I can guarantee you. Anybody who starts out by saying this is going to be trash. Could it be that Sasuke gets his curse mark again because he no longer has his Renegon? And these are the types of theories that piss me off to be honest. Because there's literally no correlation. Why would Sasuke go get another curse mark again? It has no points. He's basically already stronger than Orochimaru. So why would he go and get a curse mark from somebody weaker than he is? So we're just gonna act like we didn't even read this theory because bro, I don't know about this one to be honest. Just by scrolling, I see this guy saying, yes, my theory was correct after all. Boruto has the Renegon. 11 likes, so this, this must be going crazy. So let's see what he is talking about. So right home, oh like, okay. I'm going to say this in the most respectful way. He looked at this screenshot, saw the Renegon, saw the Jogan, and remember 210. 
So this episode happened a long time ago. Knowing all of this information, he knew this was episode 210. He went there and typed on his computer. I'm finally correct. He was hyped. And I can't be, I can't be mad at him because he truly thought that it was correct. And this just shows to me, Twitter ain't the way. And we're just going to move on like none of this happened. I'm sorry. I thought Twitter was the way, but it clearly is. And we need to find a different strategy right here. So clearly this experiment and trial did not work as most of the theories I found did not make sense or even relate to the question. So here I am again with no answers to my question. And answering the question on whether Borto can awaken the Renegon seems to be impossible. However, I stumbled on a video by Bauer B which discussed the possibility of Borto getting the Renegon. His main points can be summarized into a question. Did Borto's karma come from base Momoshiki or fused Momoshiki? So if we say that his karma comes from base Momoshiki, then there is a lower chance of Borto getting the Renegon. This is because Momoshiki's Renegon is found in his hand, which is not where eyes are supposed to go. This would mean that Momoshiki put his Renegon there on purpose. Maybe he did that to make it easier for him to absorb Ninjutsu. If he implanted his Renegon in his hand, Boruto would not be able to awaken it because it did not come from Momoshiki himself. A better way to understand that is if Kakashi is to have a son or daughter, his child would not have the Sharingan because he implanted and took the Sharingan which he did not awaken naturally. However, if Boruto's karma came from fused Momoshiki, he would have a better chance of getting the Renegon since Momoshiki awakened it after consuming Kinshiki as a chakra fruit which would mean that the Renegon would become part of Momoshiki's genes, allowing him to pass it through the karma. If you were to ask me whether Boruto got fused or base Momoshiki's karma, I would tell you that I personally believe that he got base Momoshiki's karma, which would explain why we don't see him use the Renegon in the time skip and why we see Momoshiki when he appears in the anime or manga only in his base form. And even if I am wrong and Boruto got his karma from Fuse Momoshiki, there is no point for Boruto to have the Renegon. And this point was pointed out to me by one of my subscribers Ted. Boruto already has the karma, which he can use to absorb ninjutsu. And in the anime, we see Momoshiki use his Renegon mainly as a way to absorb ninjutsu, which is the same thing as the karma. So even if Boruto could awaken the Renegon, he probably wouldn't even use it. A great example of this is with Sasuke. Sasuke has the Renegon and has so many broken abilities with the Renegon, but we just don't see him use it. An example of this is with Universal Pool, Planetary Devastation. He can use many of these ninjutsus and hacks versus his opponent, but he just doesn't do it. Now this solves one question, but now watch this video right here to find out who is Amado's real daughter.